red-haired people have genetic superpowers. Believe it or not, it has been scientifically proven that red-haired people actually have genetic superpowers. Whilst this may seem science fiction, it has actually been proven, several times in fact. In his 1886 book, Le Parfum de la Femme, or A Woman's Scent, Dr. Augustin Gallopin reported that he had noticed red-haired women gave off a very particular and unique scent. He described the scent as earthy and sensual. Whilst this may seem completely baseless, scientists have actually gone on to discover that the acidic film that surrounds the body is actually more acidic on red-haired people than anybody else. This is the reason for the particular aroma Gallopin recorded. A particular scent may not be classed as a superpower, but these next few points may make you reconsider. They're rare. Being red-haired is extremely rare, with only around 1-2% to of the globe's population having it. This is astonishingly only 70 to 140 million people. There's a reason it's so rare. Most people with red hair have the MC1R gene, a mutation that affects chromosome 16 because of a recessive allele. This is what causes red hair. They produce their own vitamin D. Vitamin D is very important for everyone to make sure they get enough of it. But when it comes to this for red-haired people, they need much less than everybody else because they actually produce their own. This is thought to be an evolutionary trait as most red-haired people historically lived in colder climates and places with limited sunlight. This is a superpower just because of the sheer amounts of benefits vitamin D gives. To list a few, it helps maintain strong bones and teeth, helps reduce obesity, supports heart and lung health, and a bunch more. A quite interesting trait that most red-haired people have is a higher sensitivity to temperatures, more specifically, temperature changes. It's thought that red-haired people can feel the slightest change in temperature and even detect if it's getting warmer or colder much easier than most other people. Now the last and potentially most interesting superpower is that red-haired people have a higher pain tolerance than anyone else. Various studies have been carried out in order to prove this and the results speak for themselves. One study in Kentucky at the University of Louisville tested anesthesia in people with different hair colors and shockingly found that red-haired people needed up to 20% more anesthesia to be fully sedated than any other hair color. Another study at the McGill University Montreal in Canada produced some stunning results. The red-haired people involved were up to 25% more than other hair colors.